On Tuesday, July 7th, 3 and 6 Ashland Legion took on 1 and 6 Bill Ricca. Jake Obid got the start for Ashland. Top of the first, two on, one out. Justin Burek at the plate for Bill Ricca. Someone already getting warm for Ashland, just in case Obid continues to struggle. On the ground, right side, past the dive of Wolf. One run is in, the second run being waved around. It, the ball just being picked up over in right field. And two runs score. It's a two RBI single for Justin Burek. Greg Holler helped post 77 respond on the bottom of the first. Burek takes a look at third and deals. And this is up the left side. Slow roller on the grass. Throw to first, and they do get the runner going to first, but the run does score. Top of the third with two outs. David Lindsay adds security for Bill Ricca. This is hit into left field. That'll drop down. Runner being waved around. The throw in, not in time. And another Bill Ricca run scores. Bottom of the fourth, Ashland gets within one as Andrew Kine takes advantage of an error. Eric deals. Kime crushes this into right field. That drops down for a hit, an absolute rope. Rounding first, it'll roll all the way back to the wall. Kime will stop at second with the stand-up double. Now he's going to go to third as the throw got by the cutoff man. Throw to third, is going to get away, and Kime's going to come around to score. Top of the fifth, Bill Ricca adds another run. Line up and the pitch. On the ground, third base side, and it's past the dive of Krupe and Messier. One run in. The throw in is going to be in time to get the second runner. A well needed good defensive play by Greg Holler. So Anthony Nelson scores on the RBI single by David Lindsay. Bill Ricca never looks back, taking down Ashland 5 2. Justin Burek was the winning pitcher, Jake Obid the loss. For Bill Ricca, Justin Burek went three for four with two RBIs. Anthony Nelson went three for four with a double, two runs, and an RBI. The next day, Ashland had a chance to get back on the winning track as they took on Tingsboro. Nick Burns on the mound for Ashland. Things started off a little rocky, top of the first, one on, two outs. Jacob Barnes at the plate for Tingsboro. Burns delivers. And this is a liner in a left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Runner being waved around third as Greg Holler struggles with it. One run is in. The throw to second is not in time. Post 77 responded in the bottom of the third, trailing one to nothing. Brendan Thurber at the plate, two on, one out. Samuel deals. And this is a liner in the right center. That'll drop down. One run in a score. A second run being waved around. The throw in is cut off. And it's 2 on post 77. A two RBI single for Brendan Thurber. Post 77 added another run in the bottom of the fourth. One on, two outs. Jeff Haller at the plate. Sample awaits the sign and deals. And this takes a couple hops on the infield grass. Bobbled by the third baseman, Eric Maxfield. And it's 3 to 1 post 77. Nick Burns coming around to score. Another error for Kingsboro. Ashland got the well-needed 3-1 win to improve to 4-7. Ashland defeats Kingsboro 3-1. Nick Burns gets the win. Sean Sandville the loss. For Ashland, Nick Burns pitched the complete game all seven innings, giving up six hits, one run, though was unearned, and had seven strikeouts. Brendan Thurber went one for three with two RBIs.